This is embarrassing. <laughs> has been a long time coming but it may be february but we can we can still organize our kitchens <laughs> this should have been a january job we have recruited bessie parkane because when don't we recruit him <laughs> about august last year i started ordering new spice containers crates plastic acrylic containers for the most organized gorgeous kitchen ever and naturally i've just been hoarding that stuff ever since then so we're finally gonna put it to use we're gonna organize the pantry all the cupboards in the kitchen let me show you how fun it is right now For real, it doesn't look that bad, but like no one should have their food next to the bin. And that's what we're working with right now. And I'm not really sure what happened on these door handles, but they're like peeling off. So we're gonna see if we can get these replaced. But the fridge and freezer is a bit of a mess. This does feel like it could have its very own video. So we're probably just gonna briefly do this. In all of the drawers, there's like two years worth of crumbs in there that need to be wiped off. So I'm gonna take everything out of all of the cupboards first because this feels like the worst job. So we get that over and done with first. Gonna take that out wipe everything down. I'll show you guys the organization that I got after that. First, the wash job. I'll spectate. No! <laughs> you can yeah. pop shelf because I'm too short. <laughs> An empty wine <laughs> bottle? For what? We have to get it there. Oh! Here are the cupboards. They're honestly not that bad where the glasses were. However, where the coffee was is a little bit unusual. I can't actually see up there because I'm too short. How's it looking? Here we have an ice maker, blender, air fryer, backup like baking paper and foil and stuff. But I'm just going to leave that up there because I cleaned it really recently. We made space for the air fryer and stuff. And to be honest, I'm not that keen on trying to take that down because every single time I do it, I really feel like I'm going to absolutely damage the kitchen counter. Very heavy. I re run out of kitchen counter space doing this. I've been telling myself for the last like year that I need to buy some coasters. I had them the whole time. You're really putting in the work, pal. You're really doing a good job watching the camera lighting. You know, when you like start a project and you are instantly overwhelmed and don't want to finish it, that's me right now. This is like most of the stuff in my kitchen except for these drawers, but I don't think there's enough space to pull that stuff out right now. But all of the drawers are just a little bit rank, <laughs> especially like up here. This one is, um, we don't got to talk about that. I am just going to go through and wipe out all of the drawers. So I hope this is very entertaining ASMR that's about to happen. If not, sorry. I am considering <laughs> if it's like weird to vacuum these drawers. Is that weird? It would be weird, but if you then wipe it out afterwards. Yeah. If I spray that, it's just going to be disgusting. Okay, I'm going to vacuum them. And if by any chance you have a weird fact about how dirty vacuum cleaners are, then please keep it to yourself. I just got this tool out and we haven't used it, so it's clean. Oh, we love! <laughs> just in case there are any haters, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning it first. <laughs> to be fair, it probably does need to clean. <laughs> Because she had a fit. I did not. <laughs> 
<laughs> 10 minutes has passed because I had to take a breather because I was really exhausted by moving these boxes, which is worrying because we have a lot more to go. Oh, the wine or the work? <laughs> Speed haul, which I'm not very good at speed haul, so it might just be a regular one. Oh no, one of them's out of the freaking spot! All of the cutlery that I've ever bought has been really bad. Like the whole set was probably like $12. And so it's always gone really, really rusty. So I bought myself my first adult silverware set. 25 year guarantee. Oh! Really? But the lady I bought it from, it may have just been a selling tactic, but she did tell me she has the same set at home and it's really good. Very Probably good. says that to literally everyone, no matter what set they buy. Acrylic things that I bought so long ago that I'm not actually sure like what I wanted to do with them. These are my freaking favorite. I bought a bunch of these, a little cup and sauces. My boyfriend used to be a barista and he is really good at making coffee and he hated that we didn't have any like good cups to like make cool latte art. In. Hopefully he loves me more now. Probably not. He probably just wants me to make my own coffee. I've also only ever bought bowls and plates from Ikea and it's not that much of an upgrade but I went to Target and they had these. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't even an upgrade? It feels like it's on par. I feel excited about these ones. They're stoneware. What were the quotation marks for? I don't believe that it's really stone. Is that because of the whole Target thing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything is like this off-white creamy kind of color. Oh my gosh. Just the perfect size, the perfect shade. I got two sets of those because four is a really awkward amount to have. If you break one, then you only have three and that's not enough. <laughs> However, eight is too many. I am just backing in that we will have a bowl casualty. Matching plates. Oh my god. Might have to take another rest after this. And then I got the matching dinner plates as well. One thing in my adult life that I have bought a lot of is glasses. I have these ones, which I probably should have bought two packs of these as well. I just like simple things that look kind of like champagne glasses. I got no idea what this is, so we get to discover this together. I saw Emily Marieko got these really cute fruit bowls for her kitchen counter, and I really wanted to do that, but I couldn't find anything like that, so I did something absolutely completely different, and I got the most basic white bowls. But I have a theory. So, so just hold these up first for a side-by-side -side comparison to what you got versus what Emily got. Yeah, we didn't go down the Emily route. However, A, Emily Mariko cannot put those in the dishwasher and I'm lazy and I want to put these in the dishwasher. And B, they're so simple that like if I have clutter on my kitchen counter, like this is an additional clutter because they're so simple. Like they merely camouflage against the countertops. Keep it super clean and neutral. Didn't think of that, did you, Emily? I got a bread bin. How adult am I? What does it do? It's just like, you can... <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable putting my bread just in the pantry. It feels vulnerable. <laughs> I think it's because right now I have my bins in the pantry, so putting my bread in the pantry just feels wrong. I got some knives. German. Fit to go with my knives. It's like a thing that you store your knives in. I got it off Amazon. The way that I'm currently storing my knives is dangerous, and I question daily how I haven't cut myself the way I'm currently storing them. No, they're too blunt to get cut. Ah! I thought we could use this, um, I mean I bought this like in August last year so I'm not exactly sure. The one thing that inspired this entire kitchen makeover was I saw someone organize their spice drawer and throw back to what my spice drawer looks like. I want mine to look better. I got a lot of containers. I got two packs of these which may have been overkill. We don't have that <laughs> so many packs. I don't even think I have this many spices but they have two boxes. Drawer sliders. And then I have a bunch of like glass Tupperware. Did anyone see that TikTok about how like the guy that works at not Johnson & Johnson, <laughs> he was like the head of plastics at not Johnson & Johnson and apparently he doesn't have plastic in his house because he thinks it's so horrible. That is not about Johnson & Johnson. It was just a TikTok. I don't know. It could be fake. Probably is. Allegedly. A basket to put our potatoes and excess onions in. Now the apartment is super trashed. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm giving delusional vibes. <laughs> we should definitely have another glass, so do you reckon? Do you really want one? Of course I do. This has got to be the most satisfying thing you've ever watched. Truly, second to the spice drawer, 
the cups and glasses and mugs drawer is what I'm most excited about. I am gonna just put these away and then wash them later. My dishwasher is already full, so I can't wash them yet. Down or up? Like, how do we feel? Mm. Down to drain out the water when you don't dry them afterwards, or up? Down because we just cleaned it, so it's fine for now. They're cute, hey. I don't know. They kind of smell good, hey. Yeah. Okay. They need to be washed. <laughs> Clearly, no one in this house is a big tea drinker because all of this tea is like out of date by quite a while. I do still have this chamomile honey and vanilla tea, which I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna see if I have a container to put this in. I actually wanna start drinking tea more in the evenings though, so maybe I'm so bummed that this is all bad. And this too, I had this in my last kitchen organization video and now all of this tea is so out of date and I haven't drank any of them. Does tea really go out of date? It's just dried up leaves isn't it <laughs> to have pizza for lunch so I thought while we're eating the pizza I might put all of these little spice containers into the dishwasher so that they have time to like dry and stuff. But Kane did say that he has a life hack that his mom taught him you can put this stuff into the oven and it will dry up so just the jars just the jars yeah. walking through the mess Tim has just gone and gotten us some pizza. We have garlic bread. Kane got me this chocolate mousse to have later. I used to be so obsessed with this. I used to get it all the time. We have a bunch of pizza. This one looks like it's for us. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is that? Did you get a vegan pizza, Kane? I know, I just added on vegan meat. Guys, this vegan meat at Domino's literally tastes like real meat. Like, I, I don't even know why I bother eat meat if it can taste that good. She says that she has a pepperoni pizza. The peri swell is essential. It makes Everything tastes better. Now for the whole reason that I decided to do this whole kitchen situation. The spice drawers, which are just, well, you can see, they're a mess. They are not thriving. So I'm gonna clean this out so that when everything is done washing in the dishwasher, I can put the spices straight in the container. I also got some new cartridges of cartridges? Cartridges for my little like label maker. So it's about to be very satisfying. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so gross in here. In my brain, because I bought the spice containers in August last year, I keep saying, yeah, I'm gonna do that soon. With all that on the bottom, I've created like a whole new spice. We That's have! Like Truly, I'm gonna bottle this up and sell my secret spice mix that I've created on my drawer. Probably don't have the best <laughs> knife storage situation. So I'm definitely gonna deal with that. There's a bunch of these knives that can go. And this is why I'm truly curious as to how I've never cut my hand. Kane is probably correct. It's probably because the knives are blunt and they're rusty. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be significantly less in a second. I'm about to go through and make a label for every single thing. However, I'm sure there are some here that are out of date that I've been using, which if I've been using them, like, they didn't kill me. Here's my label maker, my prize possession. Oh, I'm glad we got another cartridge thing because it's Done. I just got done making a bunch of labels for all of the different spices. And then over here, Kane has taken all of the containers out of the dishwasher and then put them into the oven because apparently they dry easier that way. And they did. They're like perfectly dry now, which is so good, but only on a low temperature. <laughs> Disclaimer, if you try this at home, I don't actually know if it's safe. So at your risk, y'all. Best you over there, she's still doing the spices. I'm cleaning out the cutlery jar, cutlery drawer. It makes me feel quite old to care about this, but here I am. I'm gonna be excited too, especially if it doesn't rust. If they rust, one of us are gonna, Sarah is gonna put it on her story and I'm going to be very disappointed. I love it, how do you say that I'll put it on my story because you don't post on Instagram? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's obviously a lie if I said I'll do it. They actually feel really nice, touch it. Ooh, she's like a little heavier. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wow. 
I don't eat steak, but this is nearly making me want to eat steak. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at that. Our steak knives are like the rustiest, crustiest, disgusting things ever. <laughs> All right, catch back in next week when this one's done. Sarah just asked for me to print out the word curry. Every other curry powder. Thanks. <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> Sarah's gonna have perfect spices and then there'll be a whatever that is. So this may be embarrassing, but I'm so freaking proud. Just pretend that this is not chipped off here. We're gonna fix that. But look at that guys. Okay, sesame is a little wonky, but you can't have perfection here. I'm gonna put these in the drawer. I am so, why is it? It's the little things y'all. This is literally giving me so much happiness right now. I'll have them linked down below, but we got them off Amazon and they weren't even expensive for a massive pack. We definitely did not need two boxes though. We did actually have a lot of out of date spices. So maybe we'll eventually be able to like fill up the other containers when I restock those. Probably should have wrote a list before I threw away the empty containers, but... <laughs> Love it. Oh, stunning. Okay, here's all of our new plates. I'm gonna put them away just for the aesthetics of this video. However, this all needs to be washed. Like this one here is like very dirty and big gross. But anyway. I love how all YouTubers are really good at like sugarcoating their experiences. They don't pretend like they ever hate any of it. It's not that I hate it, I'm just over it. Like I'd rather go swimming at the beach because it looks really good. <laughs> oh, that honestly was really frustrating watching you try to take that sip. Okay, we're gonna do the pantry. Okay, let's go. This is our <laughs> pantry. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Okay, I can't stop laughing, so I'm just gonna do this whole tour laughing. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? This is our pantry, and I've really tried many times to organize it. I actually did go out and buy two more of these containers, so like everything is, it's got a section. Every single week, I have this little picture that I put up inside the pantry. Oh, get out. Hey. What? You've done that once. No, I haven't. That has never changed. No, way. That is new, you I idiot. It's been the same one ever since you did it. I did that, like, yesterday. Every week, when I go grocery shopping, I write down, like, the meal ideas that I had, and I stick it inside the pantry. And Kane thinks I don't do that. I literally swear I was about to rip it down because I thought it was old. Probably about an hour later, we still have everything on the bench, but I did go through and get rid of anything that was out of date, which was actually not too bad. We have all of the containers clean and back in the pantry, but I'm gonna go through, start putting things into all of their containers and figure out while I go what labels I wanna put on these. But it's looking good. <laughs> really embarrassing about this whole can straw is that one time I'm pretty sure I wanted to make a pina colada but I didn't have anything so every time I went to the grocery store in the future I got a new can of coconut milk and now I don't drink pina coladas <laughs> doing the thing that he's been most excited about, putting away his potatoes. We even researched the best way to store potatoes. Apparently, airflow. I just put together this box. So I bought this just from like Kmart the other day, but I feel like when you have a spice straw and stuff like that, I've always wondered where you put like your overstock. So I have lots of backups in here. All of my open spices, all the flour that isn't in the jars yet. I feel so freaking organized. It's the next day. I was going to finish this yesterday, but it just looks so cute. It needs good lighting for the whole experience. I'm going to fill up my fruit bowls, which are brand new. I even went to the supermarket last night and I bought new fruit for this. Although the bananas do be looking a little bit um, banana bread ready. 
I've never seen someone so excited to buy fruit and put it in a bowl. I am. I'm peeling off all of the stickers though, make it extra cute. Upon further inspection of the bananas, I'm actually <laughs> gonna chop them up and put them in the freezer because, oh my god, it's literally so ripe that it just broke. Okay, we're gonna freeze those. I have to be honest, the only reason that I ever, ever eat lemons and limes is in cocktails, but that's fine. <laughs> did have a little too many onions, but I can put them down here in the basket. We have space. Oh, this is so satisfying. Fruit bowl is out. It looks super cute. I'm glad I went for something really simple. I think it keeps it looking really clean and not super cluttered. I think... We're gonna take all of the Polaroids off the fridge. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're like very faded. As much as they're super cute, I don't wanna like, I don't know, I don't wanna ruin all the memories. There's literally like two or three years worth of Polaroid pictures here. What do you guys think? Should I take them down? This is a really good example of how faded it is. See that little black spot? I had a piece of glue tack, which is just like the stuff we stick them on this picture. And now it's so faded that the glue tack has left a spot because it was so faded. Another thing we we did this morning was we emptied out our pots and pans drawer because all of our pots and pans they're all pretty damaged and i don't know if you guys are on the same tiktok as i am but recently my entire for you page has been about how pans have like toxic stuff in them which is really bad for your health so i got myself a new set they're by the brand green pan and they say healthy ceramic non-stick and they have a really good warranty so if something happens we can send them back but they're very cute and apparently they can go in the oven too and I've never had bougie pans that can go in the oven. We're just leveling up in our 20s. Feels good. I'm very excited. I feel like Emily Mariko except fraud. <laughs> I got some big pots and then I also got these so that I can hopefully prevent scratching them. They're just like these like dividers you put in between to separate the pans when you stack them. I'm getting very high levels of serotonin from these pans right now. Here they are. We were going to get a really big set but we ended up just selecting the pots and pans that we wanted because realistically, I don't need 100 pots and pans. I ended up being slightly cheaper to do it like this and then I got exactly what I wanted and they had a 50% off sale and apparently they're more healthy. I'm feeling so satisfied, you guys. I feel like all the planning paid off. It may have been August that I started purchasing for this video, but it was worth it. Normally, that my kitchen makeovers don't turn out this good. Anyway, here are the before and afters. We've got drinks up the top and then we got snacks. Everything is labeled, which, oh, this is so satisfying. Truly, these ones probably won't stay like this because I don't normally have so many like small snacks. Ah! One update since yesterday is I actually went to the supermarket last night and I picked up some spices that I had to throw out because they were like out of date. Let me know if you guys want to see me redo the kitchen counters because they're like super scratched as you guys can see. It's really easy. You just buy like film off of Amazon. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And let me know, <laughs> did I inspire you to clean your kitchen? I freaking hope so. <laughs>